Yeah, good day YouTubers, uh, Spanner Man again here. Look, just uh, doing a bit of a uh, chain uh, uh, depth gauge raker, so we'll just do that. Uh, chains only have you've been used about twice. I uh, just want to run over and check. As you can see, it doesn't take that long. Still uh, progressive depth gauge to me is still the best. Once you get used to it, very fast, very quick. It's just a matter of getting used to it. Got a fair bit of firewood to chop up. The chain's been sharpened. The uh, depth gauges haven't been checked. That one's all right. Just check that one again. Yeah, that one's all right. The steel uh, gauge is meant to be filed on top. This is a 3.8 standard chain, full chisel. Sometimes it can get a bit grabby, like now. That happens sometimes. There we are, back at the back where we started. I've done a uh, couple of minutes, but if you look at the gauge, you don't file the gauge. Well, look, I've had this gauge for oh, a long time, and that's that's all you do to it. So all those people out there that say, you know, gauges aren't meant to be filed on, well, okay, do it your way. These gauges are designed to be filed on. They're made by steel. They're a progressive depth gauge. And uh, as you can see at the back, that's just from the teeth. They just get scratched. This is harder than the teeth. Teeth have got a Rockwell hardness of about 55 to 56. This is 62 Rockwell hardness file is about 60, 59 or 60. So, yeah, yeah, all those people out there that think that you're going to damage the file ain't going to happen. It's like as if you get glass, and I'll actually show you. There's people out there, in one of the other videos I put, said, oh, you'll damage the file. I'm thinking, no, you really don't know what you're talking about. So here's, here's a bit of glass, okay? Look at that. All it's going to do is, it can't grind, can't file the glass away, does nothing. Look. Now, don't know whether you know it or not, one of the reasons a file goes blunt, it's got very little sharp edges on it. And those little sharp edges, if you look under a very powerful uh, magnifying glass, which I've got, those little knife edges that are all on there all start to chip off. So, when you go up in hardness, you'll find out that metal becomes much, much more brittle. And that's why what happens to a file, all those little sharp edges all start chipping off because uh, of the hardness. Look, I hope that explains a little bit. It's just a quick little video for people out there that are uh, uh, not too sure about how to use a raker gauge. And as you can see, if you were thinking about getting one of these, I highly recommend it. I was probably going a little bit too fast. but And the other thing is, if your file's in good nick, as you probably saw on there a couple of times it grabbed, that's actually quite good because that means you know your file. It's when your file skates over the top and it doesn't uh, start filing metal, then you can throw it in the rubbish. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.